Hi there, Drew Brents here, Preempt Title 3 and Broker Plus, and today I want to take a few more minutes and, and go through a second tutorial on the Sign Plus uh, feature. Today I want to focus in on uh, how does a loan officer sign feature uh, assign documents, and also uh, how does it look when the loan officer processor needs to put data points on a form uh, before they send it out to the customer. So that being said, let's go ahead and open up a loan file. And I have a custom form already prepared, so I'm going to go to Send Disclosures. And if you want to know how to create custom forms, we have some other tutorials on that. I'm going to go ahead and create an envelope. Okay, I'm going to enable e-signature. This is going to be okay, AAA test. Okay, and I'm going to go all the way down and find my the form I want to send out. So it's going to be this one right here. Create envelope. Okay, so it's going to process uh, as we discussed in other videos there. Now, an interesting thing, notice how I have a little red keyboard. If I hover over that, it says form requires data to be filled out by loan officer. Now, if it was the processor that needed to fill out something, it would say by processor before sending to the toolbox. So I can't even send this to the uh, borrower's toolbox to, for them to sign until I fill out some data points. Okay, so it's requiring me to fill in those data points because once it's been signed by the borrower, I cannot go in there and alter that document. So also, I forgot to mention, up here at the very top, anytime there's a signature required or data points required by the loan officer, it uh, gives you this little sign plus feature. So as an example, maybe the processor triggered those disclosures. You're going to get the notice anywhere you're at in your account. You're going to get this notice. You could click on that. It's going to tell you um, signatures or data entry required. Okay, so I'm going to open that loan. Okay, and, and it's going to drop me right down into my uh, disclosure uh, um, page. So anyway, so I've got data points there. So how do I do this? I'm going to go, going to go ahead and click on that. All right, so right here is where the loan officer uh, would go ahead and, and just click get started. Fill in there. These are data points. So this is this is filling out certain data points. Also check boxes. So you could you tab or you could just go check box which ones are true or not true. Okay, uh, next are all data points uh, complete. So we're going to say yes and then complete data. Okay, now it's gonna reprocess because it's, re it's recreating that form with those data points. Now, interesting, the keyboard goes away and you now have a, a red pencil. So this is where the loan officer is gonna sign. However, it's red and I can't sign it until we send it to the borrower's toolbox. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here to the very right, we're gonna deliver it to the borrower, we're gonna update, and now that little pencil is blue, okay? Um, and so we're going to click on that, and this is where the loan officer would then sign their portion. So agree, okay, um, i tell you what, we're going to clear that. I'm going to type this out. We're just going to call it loan officer, okay? I know we're not loan officers anymore. They're loan originators, okay? And click right there, yes, and finish. Okay. And, uh, and then, then uh, the rest is we're waiting on signatures from the borrower. So let's uh, take a look at that and, um, and go through that process. Okay, I'm in the borrower's toolbox. We're going to go to disclosures, last four digits of their social, access, and right here, AA test signature required. Now watch, this is going to be a little different than just getting signatures. So obviously, you know, oh, and, I, and down here they could review the document first, but um, right here is where they would sign. Uh, but again, a little different than just uh, signing like uh, another video we did. This is going to have data points. So they're going to agree. Okay, and so let's just do a, let's draw the signature. So notice this. So here is the preset data in the checkbox that the loan officer and or processor, whoever on, on, on the mortgage side filled out. Now this is if a borrower needs to fill it out. So let's say maybe this is a credit card uh, number for um, you know the appraisal, um, you know, credit card authorization form for appraisals or whatever. Whatever the data points are, check it true and then sign. Okay, are all data points or signatures complete? Yes or no double checks. So we're gonna say yes, finish signing. Okay, and signature is complete. And they can always access those right here in their toolbox. Okay, I log back into the loan officer account, and um, under the disclosures right here, you have a sign plus right here. It's blue, saying uh, indicating that all signatures are completed versus yellow. Yellow would be waiting on, on others to sign. Okay, so that's been completed. You could click the blue to access the audit log if you want, or you could also access the document and the audit log under here under document manager. By the way, uh, when signatures are completed, they do. Uh, there is a um, an email that goes out to the originator notifying them of that. So right here, this one is the new one that we just did. So it's under disclosure category. And here it is. So here's the data points, the checkbox, the data borrower data point, the checkbox, the signatures of all, and then here is the audit log. So again, um, again, very easy to use. Um, and as always, we appreciate uh, your business and thank you for using Preapp 1003 and Broker Plus.